Yo, what is up guys? For today we're talking about Destiny 2 and specifically we're going to be looking at the TWAB from last week. I'm going to be doing another video for the TWAB this week because I made a video about last week's TWAB and it was just way too long and just uh, I wanted to put all my thoughts into a much more uniform type of way. So yeah, the other video was like 25 minutes long and I was like, oh, I'm not going to do that. So... We're going to be talking about a few things here and there, but I'm just going to be talking about weapon and armor sunsetting. But I will be reading off the TWAB and just kind of like tell you all my thoughts at the end. So the changes to the infusion system we're talking about are designed to promote the falling. We want you to more frequently earn and enjoy more powerful and standout gear. Right now, if a legendary weapon isn't better than the current best in class there is no reason to replace your existing weapon with it if a new legendary weapon is better than the current best in class re-risk power creep removing challenge from the game and making the item mandatory slash the only option for challenging activities both above points apply equally to new mods and perks as well so the only thing i have issue with this whole part is the fact that bungie is saying that we have a best in class when we don't really. We've never really had a best in class. The only weapon that we've had that was best in class was Recluse. Obviously, Recluse was the one that everyone and, and their mom was like, you need to have this weapon in the rain. Well, Recluse and Mountaintop, but <sighs> Mountaintop wasn't broken because it shipped broken. It became, man, it was not even broken. It became powerful because of the changes they made to grenade launchers in general. So it was just like, oh, this is powerful now. But... I can only remember I can only remember Recluse being the number one gun that people were like, you need to have this gun. If not, you're not in it. So best in class really bugs me considering you can really make anything work, especially right now in the sandbox that we're in. You can run pretty much anything you want. You can run uh, Izanagi's Whisper, the LMG, I forget what it's called. Uh, Oh my god. Xenophage. You can run Xenophage. You can run a bunch of stuff that's, like, viable. So, I have issue with best in class, but I do understand what they're trying to say. So, powerful weapons can be era-defining, but eventually those eras need to end so that new eras can begin. You want strong weapons to have their time in the sun, and whenever possible, we want you to expect and prepare for powerful gear to cycle out of the endgame meta. We can't solve this by making weapons that are always better than the previous ones. This will steadily lower time to kill in both PvE and PvP until the account combat sandbox is neither fun nor tactical. Which is, uh, I do agree with that statement, but I don't agree with... Now, this is not what they're saying. This is what I'm taking personally from what they're saying. Is they're essentially just going to be making a powerful weapon each season and just kind of like basically give us a recluse each season and i ha my issue with that is that it just feels very artificial it feels very just here's your powerful thing enjoy it while it lasts and then next season you just gotta regrind for another thing that's probably gonna be as stupid and i don't really like that because pinnacles and rituals were never like powerful in that sense i mean we have recluse we have luna's hell and uh, not forgotten, but that's pretty much it. Uh, that's only three wep, technically two weapons from two seasons. So I just, I don't like it. It just, it just feels superficial to me. So that's pretty much it. That's uh, all about that. We also want to foster a gradually evolving meta that regularly promotes experimentation and debate. We believe Destiny is at its best when you have new desirable things to pursue and when you have active debates with your clanmates about which which of those new things to bring into the new raid or which is going to be hot in trials next season so it's really funny they say this because right now i think is the best time for experimentation and debate aside from like a few outliers here and there the sandbox is everywhere like well aside from shotguns right now considering uh fell winter's light just came out but before that there is people using pretty much any type of shit. It's it's this is what kills me about sunsetting weapons is the fact that 
we're losing a lot of weapons. I'm not going to say how much because it, they tell us right now, but we're losing so many weapons, which is going to make pretty much everything. All, uh, I'll get to that in a bit. Let's just keep going. Each, uh, with those goals stated, let's break down how the changes will work. Each legendary weapon and piece of armor will have a max power level it can reach through infusion. Exotics will not have a max power level. The max power level uh, for these items will be set at the player power cap, attainable three seasons after its release, season four, or season, four seasons total. This means all legendary gear has a one year span of time during which it can be at, used in activities where being at or near the player power cap is important, difficult and power enabled activities only. The, the max power level for these items will be visible in game in season 11, but no items will be at their max power level at the start of season 11. This means all your gear will be relevant in all activities during season 11. You'll be able to see the max power level is for all your gear and plan accordingly. At the start of season 12, weapons and armor released in seasons 1 through 8 will have a max power level at the season 11 player power cap. Gear from seasons 9, 10, 11, and 12 will all be infusible to new player power caps for one year after their release. Weapons and armor from Last Wish and Garden of Salvation raids will be granted exceptions and will have a higher max power level. So right now on the screen, you guys probably see the loud lullaby. It's a hand cannon from Shadow Keep, and it's funny they use a Shadow Keep weapon considering Shadow Keep and Season of the Undying are both getting axed. But this is the example that they're gonna give us. So you can see the current power level is 950. The power limit is 9, uh, 1060, and the seasonal power cap is gonna be 1060. So essentially, it, the way it's probably gonna work is. Once season 12 kicks in, I'll probably have my weapons at the power limit of that season. And then the seasonal power cap is going to stay at 1000 or it's going to be a higher. So maybe 1070, but this is only going to be at 1060. So let's let's uh, let's break down why I'm disappointed and also kind of bothered by this so if you guys heard correctly it's van vanilla destiny 1 or van vanilla destiny 2 all the way up to shadow keep so we're not even getting shadow keep or season of the undying weapons or armor which means season of dawn season of the worthy and then the new season next seat uh, next season and then season 12 are going to be this year's stuff what's fucking hilarious is that you can't even grind any of those weapons right now. So you, that one person that did not play Season of Dawn, Worthy, or the next season, you're fucking boned. You only have that current season to grind for weapons. Obviously you can get the world pool of weapons, but even that is getting quote unquote nerfed. I think it's getting a nerf because it's sharing a loot pool with a redacted engrams if you guys are one curious i'm gonna make a video or i'm gonna post a video later but not only are we getting all our weapons and armor gutted that's destiny vanilla 2 to shadow keep and season of the undying all of that armor and weapons is completely irrelevant not only that all the activities everything of content is irrelevant there's no reason to do forges there's no reason to do menagerie there's no reason to do any of that old content in an mm the reason i have issue is the fact that this game is going to become even more barren because now at least i had stuff to do i could have farmed for a, a god roll beloved because i still don't have one I could have done some forges. I could have done Season of the Drifter stuff. I had so much stuff to do as backlog because I had so, so much weapons that I still wanted that I did not have god rolls for. That's the thing. See, sunsetting weapons is not just, you know, oh, I don't have my weapon anymore. It's the whole thing behind that. It's the fact that activities are becoming useless. It's the fact that to a certain point, 
people are not going to grind for god rolls anymore people are just going to uh, roll for whatever they can it's like oh if i can at least get you know a reload a reload thing on this weapon then i'll be okay or settling for less that's what pisses me off the most about this is that it's going to be make people settle for less i used to settle for less in destiny 1 just because i knew my weapons was going to get sunset it wasn't called sunset but we knew that like what was it after the taken king all our weapons got sunset and we were pissed it didn't work then i don't know where they're trying to do it now i do understand what they're trying to say with uh power creep and all this but right now the sandbox is great i think the only reason people or the only reason they're bringing up power creep is just because they're incapable of making unique perks or weapons and i'm not going to I'm not going to come up, uh, stay here, or I'm not going to stand here and tell you, oh, I could do it easily. No, it's hard as shit. But that's also not my job. Like, it's it's really hard to be, like, it's really hard to have empathy for that when they have so much stuff they can pull from Destiny 1, perk-wise, weapon-wise. But instead, we keep seeing weapons like Season of the Worthy, where it's all pretty much dog shit except the shotgun, and even then, it's not the best it's just a fucking dope weapon like perks are good the archetype could have been better and the stats are mostly okay but other than that honestly the shotgun just looks cool when you shoot it and it feels nice that's pretty much it one weapon out of this whole season i think is really good and it's not even in the season it's in the season pass so th that's the other thing i fear the fact that if we can expect season of the worthy season of the undying type weapons because season of dawn i'll grant i'll grant them that season of dawn weapons were really good but season of dawn weapons also came with new perks that we didn't see before so i do kind of give that also like that's the whole reason why they made them better or why we thought they were better because we had vorpal weapon there's a lot of weapons that had really good rolls, like the Assault Rifle, you can do Feeding Frenzy and Multi-Kill Clip, or Feeding Frenzy, or not Feeding Frenzy, no yeah, Feeding Frenzy and Swashbuckler for the Assault Rifle. For the Sidearm, you can do Osmosis with Demolitionist, which was amazing. There were so many cool perks with those weapons, and the weapon archetypes weren't bad at all. They were really good. And then we go to the Season of the Worthy, where... We have a 180 hand cannon with dog shit rolls. We have an SMG with dog shit rolls. Like, it's really hard for me to have faith in Bungie when I see Season of the Undying and Season of the Worthy weapons. And sure, Season of Dawn had great weapons, but that's one season out of after two seasons. That does not inspire confidence to me because season of the undying weapons there was only one weapon that had unique roles for the archetype which was the adhortative it had feeding frenzy and multi-kill clip that was the only weapon of that archetype that could roll that or yeah so i i am not excited for season 12 because we are losing destiny 2 vanilla stuff it, that includes raids as well. We're losing Curse of Osiris, Warmind, which is basically there's no point in going to the to Mars anymore. Escalation protocol is useless unless you want the armor for transmog only. Season or Forsaken, that's what kills me too. Forsaken is almost worse worthless. The only thing that's not is the raid. Season of the forge is useless even the raid which i think one of my favorite raids useless seasons of the drifter probably some of the best weapons we've seen in a season hands down all of those weapons are useless season of season of menagerie one of if not the best seasons we've ever seen in destiny all useless all useless even the fucking raid is useless uh, season of the Undying slash Shadow Keep is useless, almost considering that the raid is still useful. It's very disheartening to see how many years of Destiny 2 just being basically useless. What kills me even more 
is that armor is getting sunset as well. So you know that armor that you've been grinding since armor 2.0 dropped? Yeah, that armor, it's becoming useless. If you got it in Shadow Keep, it's useless. If you got Oh my god. Dude, the dungeon's going to be useless, which means the only way to get like sometimes high rolled masterwork armor is gone. What the fuck? Armor is becoming useless. It's it's really fucking wild that they chose armor when it it's such such a material grind. Like you have to get so much stuff just to get to that high point. That's the statistics alone to get that one build that you're trying to do is wild. And they're just deciding to be to go away with it. It's like what the fuck dude it's it's just funny that they're doing all of this but all of it's still seasonal it's not like i think a great way to do sunsetting is how they did it with taken king i hated it don't get me wrong i i will be the first person to tell you that shit was dog shit but at least it was better than this because you know what at least you can go back like let's say before the next DLC came out, you could go back to the old stuff and grab like whatever weapon you wanted. Like after a few months to a year, you could still go to any of the old content and grab whatever you wanted and it was still that level. It was still of the level that you can do high end activities. Now you can't even go back to season of dawn to get a certain weapon roll that you want. Trophy hunter. Yeah, you can't get that. Arguably one of the best weapons for solo players drops with what is it triple tap Vorpal weapon and if you get like a pendant mag You get four bullets. It's 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 godly for solo players. You can't get that anymore. You had to be there Makes no sense That the way they're yeah, you let me know what you guys think I think this is the dumbest shit in the world unless we start seeing more seasonal activities stay with us because the only way this would be good and by no means i'm saying i would be excited for this the only reason i'm saying good is because the only way it would be better is if all the seasonal activities stayed and then maybe on the next seasonal rotation like let's say oh we have an upcoming new five seasons for the next year all of the seasons that we have prior are leaving after the first season starts that would be such a better idea because at least okay cool i don't i can't do any of the, of the old destiny 2 stuff from like shadow keep and below but i can do season of the Und or not season of the worthy season of the dawn season of whatever this next season is and at least i can go back to the, those old content and actually get weapons that i need instead of you know what the fuck do I do now? The list is so small that there's archetypes that are, don't even have a burn. We have, we only have one grenade, heavy grenade launcher, and that's a arc weapon. So no void, no solar. There's a few pulses that don't have a void and solar, if I remember correctly. We have so many weapon archetypes that don't have a burn, which is already destroying people's builds because they need a certain weapon type or a certain burn now we don't even fucking have that it's as you guys can see i i can talk about this shit for hours because sunsetting weapons in the model that destiny has currently is asking for De for destiny to kill it it's basically shooting itself in the foot with a fucking bazooka it's so stupid I cannot imagine who thought this was a great like who who at Bungie thought this was a great idea because ultimately you're not only destroying all of our loot pool by sunsetting weapons but you're also well okay so here's the other side of the argument sunsetting weapons is not necessarily bad considering that it's only needed for the high end activities which is a fair assessment when you start to notice that only the high-end builds are like the only reason builds exist is because people need them to do it at high-end activities like the 
the new Seven Seraph, uh, what's it called? The mods this season. There's one that requires like solar splash damage. With the new changes that are coming, if you didn't play Season of the Worthy, you don't you can't even use a pulse rifle. You if you didn't play Season of the Worthy, you can't use the shotgun. That like, do you understand what I'm trying to say? Like, those mods will not work anymore for you because you just don't have the available tools. So on one side, Bungie's telling us we want people to make more builds, make it more interesting, and just in general that haul of that but then we're taking all your tools away because power creep and it's like aside from a few outliers i don't understand why you're, why you're trying to do this like I, I really don't i would really love to talk to whoever whoever said this was the, the thing they were gonna do i would like to talk to them and just be like why like i don't understand like to, to be fair though, we have a lot of weapons in Destiny 2, so for them to have to basically think about all the weapon types and all the weapon varieties that, they, that Destiny 2 has is pretty daunting, but even then I can't really give them that benefit of the doubt considering they're just going to bring a fucking broken weapon each season so it's like you're already breaking the game like you're by your own fucking admission you're saying we're gonna bring a powerful weapon each season and it's like then what the fuck is the point of power creep if you're just gonna keep essentially just making a powerful weapon each season like do you know how stupid that sounds i'm just gonna keep going let me know what you guys think about uh weapons sunsetting and armor sunsetting specifically armor sunsetting i think i feel is probably the dumbest choice they could have made weapon sunsetting a lot of people really kind of understand like oh yeah we understand why you're doing it we fucking hate it but we understand armor sunsetting is just wild to me i don't understand why they're doing uh that specifically uh just to show you guys real quick if you guys can see on my hunter real quick i have a full full set of masterworked armor that's not even this is not even like the final form i would love to get a lot more stuff here i would love to have mobility resilience and recovery all at 100 i would love to see that and that's the thing with weapon retirement i'm just gonna settle for less i'm just gonna be like i right, fuck it whatever i guess i'll just do mobility at 100 what the fuck ever or fuck it i'll just do uh 100 on mobility and then maybe 50 on recovery and then maybe four on resilience if i can like the amount of settling for less that's gonna happen because look at this i have this whole set that's not even that's this is not even the the set i would love to have again this one's my pve set so for for me i would love mobility and recovery all at 100 uh, don't really care about resilience too much. Probably super or discipline at 100 would be dope as well. But see, see the amount of build crafting I'm doing. And this is just super basic bitch things. Like it's not, I'm not even going into like the mods that I have or the type, type of weapons that I have to have. This is just basic bitch. Like, oh, this is what I essentially want from this, from this build. Like move fast so i can get my dodge faster heal so i can heal faster then grenades faster sometimes maybe or maybe intellect and then there's just mods as well like oh i need to have a pure sniper mod because i like to either use my trophy hunter like i said or my izanagis even though it's nerfed i still love it so there's just so much not only that but i do it usually with middle tree void because a headshot kill Get, grants me invisibility and true sight i don't really care about the true sight more care more about the the invisibility so there's just so much going in and it's like oh then i can probably do graviton forfeit for the extra seconds of invisibility or i could do probably stompies to go faster that way i can really monopolize on the invisibility or i can use the, the six path or the six coyote that way i can just have double dodge that essentially kind of work like triple dodge because once I dodge the second time, I'm already gonna have a three a third dodge. You do you understand? This is just from a PVE armor set that's like just mixed in together. 
I'm not even done. And you're telling me you're retiring armor? Especially when some of this armor I can't even use in the in season 12. Can't use this, can't use uh, this, can't use that, can't use... Oh, this I can't actually. Uh, can't you? No, I can. That's a season of the, a dawn. And I can't use that. So I can't use, like what, three of these already? Nah, that's not it, Chief. That's definitely not it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm actually really mad about this because it just means that... I'm going to play Destiny 2 even more casually than I already play. Like, to give you guys an example, I usually do my weeklies on Tuesday, the reset. I have not done a weekly since today. Only because I was testing out Felwinter's Lie. And I was like, fuck it, I guess I'll just do some Crucible stuff while I'll be in the Crucible. That's the first time I did a weekly because it's just no point. There's no point. Don't even get me started on Transmog either because... It's probably going to be silver and or bright dust. And to be fair, it's probably going to be super fucking like silver is like 150 silver for one piece of armor or a thousand for bright dust or 2000 for legendary shards and a whole a whole clip of glimmer as in the, the most you can get. Give us that. That'll be one slot. So. I don't have much faith in Destiny in general. Bungie, ah oh man. I'm not going to say that Destiny's dying or Destiny's dead because, you know, I've heard that before myself. But, you know, this is the worst I've ever seen it. And it's, I'm in my personal opinion, it's just going to get worse. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below about the TWAB of last week. We'll do a, next, a video about this week's TWAB because I do think it brings up some cool things. But it's not enough. I would have loved to see more. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you everyone for the constant support. I really do appreciate it. Specifically, the people that watch my other content that's not Destiny 2 related. I appreciate you a little bit more. Not going to lie. Only because, as you guys can see from this video, I don't want to do Destiny right now because it pisses me off. I hate to see a game with such great potential squander it over the dumbest shit. You know how easily tr easy transmog is to do with just like, oh yeah, uh, if you want 50 to 100 legendary shards for one piece of armor that's it the reason there's no reason they should have said silver once they said silver i was like i'm fucking out i don't care anymore so yeah uh yeah ah, fucking destiny so yeah uh again be careful out there guys you know what's happening in the world uh don't be an asshole don't cough in people's faces if you guys want to follow me on my social media links links are in the description below thank you everyone for the constant support and other than that i'll see you guys later Fuck, this is a long ass.